today we are going to be working on creating abstract portraits um, inspired by Picasso. And so the first thing that we're going to be doing today is looking at this sheet that has some examples for you. So up here there are some examples of faces that Picasso did and you can kind of see how he shows the face um, facing forward and then also in what's called profile, so facing sideways kind of at the same time. You're also gonna see these three examples that are showing um, examples of the project. And so again here, you're seeing um, in this example, the monster facing forward, but then you can also see in the light green side of his face that he's in profile, we see his nose sticking out to the side and his mouth kind of matches up with where it is on the back one. Um, same thing goes for this one as well as that one. So um, I want you to first just take a couple minutes to take a look at this and then we're going to start planning your project. Um, the planning part for this is only going to be about 10 minutes long so you have to really get to work right away so that you're ready to move on to making your project. So we're going to set this aside and you're going to get a blank white piece of paper and today what we're going to do is we're just going to plan out what our face is going to be um, to start with. So I'm going to start by deciding kind of what um, what I would like to make, what kind of a character I would like to make. Um, it is up to you. It doesn't have to be something spooky. I just thought that those are some fun examples. So it's up to you to decide on what you think you want to do. Um, and so for mine, I am going to make kind of like a monster. So I'm going to start by making his face. And then I'm going to think about what it looks like when someone is turned to the side. So your forehead kind of comes down and in. And then we see usually your nose. And then it comes down. So. Um, this is a really good way to start so that you can plan out your face kind of with thinking about that shape. Now the face that is back here is going to be just facing normal and maybe have kind of a big spooky mouth. And then the one over here is going to be facing sideways. So um, I could add maybe a little nostril here if I wanted to. Um, I'm gonna make my mouth kind of coming out to the side here. Okay, now that I've got kind of a plan of what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some other little details. So I could add things like the hair on top of his head. I could have maybe a neck that comes down. Um, I could also add things like stitches and maybe some ears. Now, you can go kind of crazy with this. There's lots of different details you can add. Um, it's up to you to kind of decide what you wanna do. Um, one thing though that I would encourage you to do is to add some sort of detail on their clothing. So um, it could just be that they have a shirt on. It's up to you to decide, but I do think that's a nice important step. Now that we have this planned out, what I want you to do is to plan what colors are going to go where. So for example, um, I might make this side of my face be dark green and this side light green, the hair might be black, the eyes might be white and black, etc. That'll help you to plan out your paper and what colors you are going to use. So um, for this stuff, you can just use a pencil and we're just gonna write kind of a plan for ourselves for our face. Then we're gonna move on to actually creating our face. So I'm gonna keep my plan out and I'm gonna get out my paper and we're gonna start with making kind of the back parts of the face. Um, and so I'm gonna start by making just the regular face shape. And for this, even though we're only gonna see this part that is dark green, I'm gonna make it match the entire shape of the face, okay? And so I'm gonna, I have my paper here. One suggestion that I have if you want to make something symmetrical is that you can fold it in half, but I'm not going to on this one. I, um, I'm okay with it being a little bit um, imperfect because a monster face, I would say, is probably not going to be perfect anyway, right? All right, so I've got the background here of my face. <clears throat> the next thing then that I want you to do is I want you to set your paper on top of there. And we're just going to make a little curved line here. That's going to help us to get the kind of outside shape to match for our, the rest of our face, okay? Now, um, I know that the next part is going to come across and down, my little nose is gonna come out and down. So I'm actually just gonna start cutting. Um, I would prefer that you not do too much um, drawing on these papers because what we don't want is to see any pen lines. And so um, just kind of think through before you start cutting and that should give you kind of enough of a plan to get started. 
Remember that these aren't supposed to be perfect, they're supposed to be abstract, so it's okay if something doesn't work out exactly the way that you would plan it. So I'm gonna have it come out here for his nose. Okay, so now I have this face, and I'm gonna set it on top of my other one just to kind of see where we're at. So I've got this and this. So we're already off to a pretty good start here with an abstract face. The next thing then that we would do is we're gonna go in and um, if you want to trim this down, you could I actually kind of like that this side of it's a little bit off of that side. So I think I'm gonna leave mine. Um, but then we can start to glue things together. And so um, for this, we're gonna be using a glue stick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the glue on the back of this front piece of our paper so that we don't end up getting any glue coming out off to the sides where we don't need it. When you glue your face, I really want you to make sure that you're careful when you're putting the glue on so that it ends up getting the whole face stuck down. So we're gonna first go around the outside. And then I want you to just kind of make a strip through the middle here too so that it gets really nice and stuck down. And I'm gonna be careful lining it up to make sure that I don't see any of the dark green off to the side here and get it stuck down. I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, I hope it sticks to make sure that it is really nice and stuck down before I move on to the next step. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be cutting out some of the other features. So um, one of the features I need to do is his hair. So I'm gonna just kind of loosely measure right here and cut. And then I can kind of finish up um, adding in any details I want. So if I want his hair to be kind of jagged, I can just use some back and forth little cuts. I'm actually cutting out little triangles and that's gonna make his hair look like it's rough and jagged. And then you can decide if you want it to go on top of your face or if you've got, like mine has this little extra piece, um, I can decide if I want to put it over the top like that, which I kind of like, I kind of think that's a cool look. All right, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to be adding the eyes. And I'm not gonna go over all the details with you, but I did want to um, go over this one. So we're going to be using some scrap paper today and um, there are scraps that are underneath the back um, counter that you can use for making the other parts of your face. So the only whole sheets of paper you're gonna get are going to be your two pieces for your face. The rest of what we're gonna get are going to be the scraps. So I've got a scrap here that I'm gonna use to cut into my shapes for my eyes. And so again, I'm not gonna focus on being perfect with this. I'm just gonna kind of go for it. And remember that it's supposed to be abstract, right? So I could put that one there, I could put it there. It's up to you kind of to decide. And then your other one can be the same shape or it can be a different shape. Um, it's, it's really up to you to be creative and decide what you want to do for this project. So mine's gonna be a little bit different. Okay, and then I've got another scrap that I'm gonna use to um, cut out the circles for the inside part of the eye, okay? So I'm gonna just cut some kind of loose circles here. Again, I'm not focusing on making everything perfect. It's supposed to be abstract. That's kind of part of the fun of making these faces. All right, now, the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about eyes is because I wanted to give you um, some idea of how you should go about gluing them down. So the best way to do this is going to be to take the inside part of the eye, and put some glue on back of that. We're always gonna focus on gluing smaller pieces to bigger pieces. So this small piece is gonna go on this big piece. And I'm gonna again count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope it sticks. 
and I'm gonna do the same on this side. Now I'm gonna also focus on gluing small pieces to big pieces. So now my small piece is my eye and my eye is going to get glued onto the bigger face. The next thing I'm going to do is add my mouth. And so for the mouth again, I'm gonna use another scrap here, same one that I cut my eyes out of. And I'm just gonna kind of make a big oval shape. It's up to you to decide what you want your mouth to be doing. It can be open, it can be closed. Um, it's up to you. It could be making something spooky. And so I've got this mouth. And I think that one maybe is just a little bit too big because it's kind of blending in with my nose here. So I'm gonna just kind of cut it down. make it a little bit smaller. Now actually with that scrap if I wanted to I could make him a happy monster but instead I'm going to make him a little bit more spooky. So I'm going to start by setting that down and then you can plan out if you want to have teeth. So if you do want to have teeth again you're gonna take a piece of scrap paper and you're gonna cut that to make your teeth. So I've got my scrap here from before and I'm gonna just cut out some little squares. Now a fast way to cut squares is to just cut one long rectangle and then actually you could make square teeth or rectangular teeth. I'm gonna make mine kind of rectangles. And so I'm just making a couple of quick little strips. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm gonna again glue small parts to big parts. So I'm gonna glue my teeth onto the mouth. So I'm gonna just take this little tooth here glue it down and you're really gonna to want to make sure that you hold those down and count Now you might notice as I'm gluing the teeth on that I'm leaving them sticking up a little bit high um, on my mouth. So you can see that they stick up a little bit from the top here. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna trim them off later. And so um, I'm gonna finish gluing on one more tooth here. I think three is enough. Sometimes with teeth, I think the fewer the better when it comes to making something spooky. Now if you're making someone that looks regular, you might wanna have a full set of teeth. But um, for this, I think it kinda looks more spooky with. Uh, just some teeth. So the next thing I'm going to do is I flipped my mouth upside down. I'm going to trim off the top part of those teeth. And so now you can see that it looks like the teeth are inside the mouth. And I'm going to take that and again glue it on carefully. Now you're gonna keep going and adding on all of the other features to your face and then we're going to get to the point where we're ready to glue them onto your background. I've got my background here and I'm going to, before I glue my face down, I'm going to think about the next. I'm gonna set my face off to the side here and I'm going to think about my neck. And so um, for mine, I wanted to, on my plan here, I wanted to have um, a neck with kind of little bolts sticking out of the side of it. So I'm gonna go with a light green neck and so I'm gonna grab my scrap here that I have from when I did my light green and I'm just gonna cut out kind of an, a rectangle here. And I'm going to glue this down to my paper before I glue down the face. That's gonna be an important step. Now if I wanted to add the rest of my body, I could, but in I, when I look at this as my plan, I don't have a lot of extra space left and I don't want my hair to go off the top. So I'm gonna just go with a neck and not have his shoulders on it, which is just fine, no big deal. Um, now I'm going to take my glue here. Sometimes plans change in the middle and we have to just learn to go with the flow with that. So if I don't have enough room for my shoulders, rather than trying to squeeze them in, I'm just going to um, skip them all together and we'll just go with our neck. So I've got my neck here and I'm going to line that up right to the edge of the paper and glue it down. Now I'm ready to glue on my face. So I would again with the face, we're gonna take the glue, we're gonna go around the outside and then make a nice strip down the middle. 
And I, always when I use my glue stick, I'm making sure that I'm not pushing it out very far. So if you look at this from the side, you can see just a tiny little bit of purple. You don't wanna twist it out too far. Um, when you need more glue, you're gonna hear a scratching sound from the plastic touching your paper. That's how you know you need to twist it out just a little bit more. I'm gonna flip this over here and stick it on and we will be all good to go. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you about is if there are small details that you want to add, it is okay to use marker just for small things like the stitches. So um, for our eyes and things, we are gonna use the cut paper, but for the stitches, I am totally fine with you using a marker. So I'm gonna take this kind of on a case by case basis. If you would like to use marker for something, please just ask and I will let you know if I think that's something that could be done with marker or if maybe we should just do it with the construction paper. So with the stitches, if you want to add stitches, you can do that um, by just drawing a line on your face and adding um, the little lines through it. So I'm gonna actually make mine have purple and kind of finish up with some other details. Once you are completely finished with this, we're gonna set it aside to dry. We wanna just make sure that all those pieces get dried on there really nice. Um, so be very careful when you're putting it in your table folder so that it doesn't accidentally push something up off of your paper.